Hi, and uh, welcome to this installment of Frank and Mary here in Northborough. For those of you who haven't seen the show before, my name is Art Bergeron. I'm an attorney. That's my day job. I do nothing but elder law. I work at Myrick O'Connell, uh, which actually is the biggest law firm outside of Boston. I'm, and and I, my office is in, is in Westborough. This show originally was supposed to be about law, but it's kind of, no, it's not anymore. It's really about my friends Frank and Mary. If you've seen me do presentations, you know I talk about Frank and Mary and their kids, Peter, Paul, and Mary Jr., and their goal in life, which is to live in their house until they die and be buried in the backyard. And if they live in Northborough, their goal is to do that, all of that in Northborough. So the point of the show is to have you know, as well as Frank and Mary, the people that you need to know about and the, and the programs you need to know about so that you can just stay in your house and live in your house until you die. So I'm not from Northboro, I'm from far away in Marlboro, so in order to help me figure out who to talk to, right, I, I, I lured my wonderful friend Anita Hagspiel, who, who has been extremely involved with, with the Friends of the Northboro Seniors and a bunch of other stuff for like a long time. And I said, can we do this show together? And of course, she said yes, and said that she'd find all these interesting people, which she has done yet again. And so, Anita, who do we have today? We have a very wonderful person, Ruth Anderson. And Ruth was the treasurer for many years with the Friends Board, and in fact, uh, mentored me when I came on the board, which was wonderful. You were become from very back good when you friends. were a kid, you know, yeah, yeah, and she suckered you in. Yeah, and, that, and then yeah. when Ruth came off the board, yeah. she has continued to chair our fabulous jewelry cart at the Senior Center, which is a fundraiser, a significant fundraiser. Which is fundraiser. A thing, and we're going to talk a lot about the jewelry cart, but now once again, I'm the outlander, right? I come from a faraway place. So how did, how did you end up getting involved in that? And are you a Northboro person originally, or an Outlander? Did you, <laughs> or did you, or did you make your kids Northboro residents by raising? How, how did you get well, here? Well, let's see. Um, almost 50 years ago, we moved to Northboro. Not yesterday. Yeah, not yesterday. Ago. No, I was. And doesn't it seem like the blink of an eye? It does. You, and it was a little sleepy back. town. And yeah. when you people would say Northboro, they, I'd say west of. of Boston, and they think it was in the Berkshires. In the Berkshires, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, um, she said no, Marlboro, yeah, nobody knew the where the heck it was. Yeah. But <laughs> I'd say between Framingham and Worcester, and then they'd sort of know. They'd sort of know. But I'm originally from New York. Yeah. I brought up in Brooklyn, New York, and um, so this is, Wow, no yeah. accent. No, well, yeah, I wow, think so. Wow, she's really gone native. <laughs> this is great, yeah. Anyway, when I uh, moved up here, uh, it felt really right. I, I always liked small towns. So I went to a very small college, and yeah. I loved it, and I didn't really love living in a big city. So Northboro has been our home for 50 years, and That's our right. kids were very young when we moved here. And uh, and so you and you raised and them, so you raised the kids yeah. here, and you never left. That's now, did they right. go locally? Did they go to the schools. They locally? did. Um, <clears throat> my daughter, did. who's the younger one, went to Algonquin. My son yeah. started at Algonquin, and ended up at a private school in Sudbury. But um, and are any through, of them around? Still, yeah, they are. They, they, they are. are. My daughter and son-in-law live in Northboro. My son lives in Mansfield, a little yeah. south of here. That's great. Yeah, That's so great. very lucky to have them around. So very local. So they've been yeah. gone for a while. And somehow you ended up getting involved with the with the seniors. senior center. Well, it's a that, funny story, but um, when my husband Jerry retired, yeah. um, for the first year or so, he was just you know puttering around, getting our finances in order, doing all that stuff. Yeah. And there was yeah. an investment club at the, the old senior center, and I and he loves that sort of thing. So I said, you know, you might want to check that out. Well, he went and he was there for a couple of months, and before I knew it, he was the president of the investment club. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and this was at the old senior the old center, which senior I never center. saw. I yeah, never, right? it was very small and very dark and yeah. very in inact no, not you know, adequate. Not well, a welcoming school. No, not really, no. not really. Um, anyway, so he did that, and then he met some guys that were trying to get a new senior center, and he got involved in that, and then he went on the Council on Aging, and then the Council on Aging president called and said, would I be the president, the uh, treasurer of the friends and I said okay and for, anyway this is the, the evolution and then it's a fit yeah. now it's a it was a family operation yeah it was so you were like yes. you were like both you were yeah. both active. yeah That's and, great. We, and we were both very busy really trying to get this new senior center which met a lot of resistance and was voted down a couple of times before the town decided it did. to fund it I didn't know the backstory yeah, yeah. Now, were you involved in that also no you, I was you, still working you were still yeah, yeah. yeah no it was quite that. a backstory but I did so, donate to it and yeah 
We heard about it with um, yeah. all the news around town. Yeah, because that but I was, was working. That was a big deal. Oh, it was a huge yeah, deal. Yeah, People, we've, we've, you know, we've had yeah. Kelly here on many times. Oh, she's wonderful. Because she, yeah. right, she yeah. was really right. Yeah, she's anyway, fabulous. Yeah. She's a rock. She, she is. Really is just yeah. just wonderful. Yeah. Just well, wonderful. she came when we, we still can talk had. About her now because yeah. she's not on. We still <laughs> had the old senior center, but then she moved with us to the new one, and right. and she's been wonderful. But anyway, Jerry was very involved in the building. We were we were all involved in you know, trying to get it passed so that we could have a senior. It actually yeah. won by six votes. There were some six enough votes people. Time, yeah. Yep. And then did it end up getting voted? Did it have to get voted also at the like at a at a at election type vote? Yeah. Is this an override? Yeah. I, yeah. Um, I think it did. Yeah. Wow. Yes. And, oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, we finally got it by six votes. They had a recount, and then we won by I think eight votes, <laughs> and we were so excited. And, and then it's of course, because yeah. if you don't have it, it's like how do you understand what that what you're missing if you don't have it? Yet. That's right. That's, that's right. That's right. So Everybody said nobody will go, and then they didn't like the location. Right. Nobody will go. No one will go. It's now. outside of town. Yeah. Right? It's exactly. Far away. Went through all that. Right. And and Jerry, my husband, again was on the building committee. So you know, I, I feel like we have ownership of it in, in a small way. And so now I'm just going to yeah. mention as an outlander, this, this that was one of the senior centers that we actually used as the model when we were doing the one in Marlboro. Marlboro. And kind of similar, you know, kind yeah. of thing. It was a lot of opposite. Then really, the mayor really drove it, yeah. and, and and it and it happened. Yeah. Well, but but you, you, it, the the level of activity that you're seeing, it's just unbelievable. It's, it is. At it all is. times, you know, all it's the time. It's so busy and so all exciting. The time. There. Yeah. And in the notion, and I, I'm just going to mention. So one other thing about Kelly, the discipline of growing these programs internally so that they really, a lot of that stuff is running without town money. That's right. Most right. of it is running without town money. And, the, and what you guys did. Yeah. What, and, and, with, and in terms of the money, mm -hmm. just the amount, the, the, your ability to, what, finance originally the person that was kind of do, do, doing the cafe, that That's great right. cafe. Yeah, the mm -hmm. And now it's grown so much, I think you're, but once again, you're doing the second. Right. Yeah, and that's right. something that I've actually brought to other senior centers and I said, you know, that's the best role not the best, a great role for the friends Absolutely. to play. Because you can you can figure out the things you really want to do, and you can provide the at-risk money. That's you right. can take the That's shot. That's right. That's right. So that people can see, oh, this is really good, and then all of a sudden the money, yeah. which is great. And it's now they're self-sufficient. Both of those positions are self-sufficient, so the friends no longer have to fund those. That They actually are making enough money to cover their... Which is unbelievable. Which is really, really amazing. Is. Yeah. Which is unbelievable. So, yeah. so, so it's very satisfying when I go up there and I see all the cars in the parking lot and people, and they're having a good time. And, and myself, yeah. too. I've taken art classes and um, in a memoir group. and gone and to different memoir. programs, and it's, and it's it's a fun place. And the food's good. And the food's excellent. The food you good. know, I yep. mean, that's kind of like the bottom line, yep. right, as you get older. Yep. You know, you're, you're not looking good. for fame and fortune, but you want the food to be yeah. good. You yeah. want to get a good night's exactly. sleep, you know. Exactly. You want to kind of have fun. And people so, love it. You know, they love getting together on Tuesday night and just with yes. their neighbors yeah. and well, old and neighbors. It, it's true. Yeah. They have groups of people that go every Wednesday night. Right. Oh, I didn't know that. It's, yeah. you know, just I didn't know it was open night. No, 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 Tuesday night. Tuesday, Tuesday night. Sorry. Yeah, every Sorry. Tuesday, Tuesday night. Tuesday mm -hmm. night. Yeah. That's yeah. really great. It's, yeah. Yeah. And we have a wonderful dinner and often um, entertainment and, you know, some neat things going on. That's so, terrific. Yeah. Very but happy. I digress. So that was, that's kind of, so that I was curious about backstory. Yeah. But you told me that you wanted her to come on because of this amazing thing that she does. Well, not we only just, was she we just an excellent treasure yeah. and mentored me as I came on the board in 2012. She um, and, as she and got how off. She, and how did she reel you in again? Was there, uh, <laughs> Actually, I was um, reeled in by another board member. Um, and and so then you know they were thinking that that would yeah. be a good position for me along with recruiting or yeah. fundraising mm -hmm. yeah. and so as a result um, Ruth and I just she we went to lunch and she was telling me the ropes and um, I think you were on the board for a few years and yeah. then when she came off the board yeah. she still maintained this fabulous jewelry cart that we have at the yeah. senior center. Well, I'm in and out of there a lot and I love jewelry. <laughs> So and how um, did you come up with this idea? Or, or was it there and then you grew it? So the jewelry card actually was donated by um, Adrian Cost and her husband. Right. Adrian is our Council on Aging Chairperson. Yeah. And she donated the card. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm not sure how, when it was that you started. Yeah. Well, even at the okay. old senior center, we had a table for jewelry and yeah. things that people donated. And, but it was very you know, unattractive. And if you didn't know it was there, you, you might not right. ever find it. 
Um, so Adrian had this idea that we should have a cart and something really attractive, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful wooden cart with two levels. It's really a cart. It's, it's actually a cart. A, like yes. A, like yes. an old push uh, cart? Yeah. yeah, it is. Is it like one of those things like from yes, that like you see at, 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 at in Quincy Boston? Market. At Quincy Market. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that. It's like a yeah. marquee type yeah. of thing, I yeah. would say. Yeah. Yeah. And it has yeah. wheels, and, and it, it's yeah. great. Yeah. It's so, very cute. Yeah. So we so we decided we would have mostly jewelry and some other small items, wallets and scarves and small things, but mostly jewelry. And um, as, and that's and, and it just and, took off. And, and and so and it, and it just took off. So how do you find all of this stuff? The jewelry you know? mostly it's donated. We yeah. we put um, requests into the um, uh, Northborough, Northborough Times. Times, and people donate whatever they you know are finished with or or their mother's jewelry or their grandmother's jewelry yep. or you yep. know everybody's got more jewelry than they than they need yep. and if it's um, and it's at all times of the year it's know, all it's, times it's of the year a particular time yep. Christmas time we especially you know some special Christmas jewelry yep. um, and we advertise it in the uh, Northborough Times and to get jewelry to get jewelry and also that we have a card. I was going to say, yeah. so you also advertise in order to, yeah. to, to, to sell to it. To check too. it out. And, and I, I've heard rumors that you, that you actually are the, are the uh, kind of the secret buyer to this. <laughs> Can yes. you just kind of talk about that? <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, a friend of mine, my friend Shirley Mollenhauer, and I love yard sales. So we would go yard sailing most Saturdays in the yeah. spring and summer. Yeah. And <clears throat> if people had jewelry, and we would buy it if it was inexpensive and we could make some money on it. Yeah, and you usually, can kind of look, because you like jewelry, so yeah, you, you yeah. know what's going we, to sell. And we always look, because we both love jewelry. And if um, it was um, if it was more than, than what we would make money on, then we would say thank you very much. And then often, when we told people what we were doing, they would give it to us. And often at the yeah. end, if we got to a yard sale at the end and they had stuff left over, they would say, you know, can I donate this? And Just we'd say, it. absolutely. So people are very, very generous when you tell them what it's for. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And it's a good way to promote the senior center. So we would always That's talk that up That's too. <laughs> yeah. So I have to ask: Do you go beyond to, to yard sales beyond North Bro? So oh yeah, like, Shrewsbury, Marlboro, we're up, you know, locally, right. but yeah. Right. Because yeah. I don't know any place else that does this. That yeah. really has a that, yeah. that's concentrating on jewelry yeah. kind of as a yeah. as a specific. And we go item. to church fairs. We go to yeah. um, thrift shops now. You know, all these places that have inexpensive jewelry. And, um, and if it's anything more valuable, every now and then we get a piece of gold and, or, and, and frequently silver. Oh, you told me you even have a consultant that values silver. Yes, I have my husband. Well, I have my husband first. <laughs> he, he actually enjoys it. He'll sit there watching television with a, a jeweler's loop and he'll check if we think it's silver. Yeah, he'll yeah. look for this, you know, 928 or whatever, yep. sorely. And if we're still not sure, I'd take it down to Steve um, Longval on Main Street at Elegant Antiques. At Elegant Antiques. Yeah. And Steve, you know, really knows you. He can't even test it with a, an acid so that if yeah. we're, you know, we can't find the sign, he will let us know. And if it's gold, usually I just give it to him and we get the money because we can't charge enough for the gold. So we get the money just for oh, the value of the gold. Oh, that's, that's yeah. And he yeah. just buys it? And, and he, he just buys, buys it. it and, yeah. So, so that's, that's a, another whole facet of this. Yeah. It's yeah. just amazing. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, he's been great too, you know, really helpful. And sometimes when I'm in there, he'll give me some jewelry that just this costume jewelry that yeah. he, he doesn't need or can't make any money on. This is great. So are there special times, like around the holidays, right? Are there special times where you kind of are really pushing this? We do they, really well around Christmas, yes, um, well, especially. We yeah, a country store fair in right. November. It's right. usually the Saturday before. The country things. store fair. What's it, it's all through the senior center on a Saturday, and we have uh, oh, the jewelry okay. cart. Yeah. We have a bake sale. Um, Vicki, our chef, does a wonderful lunch. Yeah. We have crafters, the knitters. Right. Um, Grandma's Attic. We have Grandma's Attic, which is like a yard sale. Yeah. And people donate all this um, all the stuff wonderful to stuff. Yeah. It's yeah. great. Who thought of that? Oh, that's been going, I think, for, since for, the old. For, for right, yeah, yes. right. That's been happening that's a great every idea year. Too. It's a big, but it's a really racer. yes, it's big and a really nice um, public uh, affairs event. Yes. Very nice. People love it. It really. They they wait in line to get in the door. Yeah, yeah. So it's really it's, amazing. Yeah, that's great. It's, we've that's got a good great. reputation. We do. We do. <laughs> and, and in terms of your jewelry card, so. How much do you make? How much does the well, jewelry cart earn yes. for the? Anita just told me. It just so happens the old <laughs> treasurer so happens. has has the real numbers here. I looked up what we um, brought in for 2018, and it was three thousand fifty-eight dollars on jewelry that's donated. On jewelry, that's or what 
So that's roof a, vines. That's a hundred percent return. Yeah, that's yeah. 100%. Mostly it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's yeah, three thousand. Yeah. About or it averages sometimes three hundred and more a month. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. right. And you were mentioning like to compare that to the fundraisers that you do. Yeah. So our fundraisers, we consider a good fundraiser, um, and these are ones like when we've had the fashion show yeah. or the God Box, which was a wonderful one-woman act play. Those brought in about three thousand dollars. And so this is like a large fundraiser. So it's the equivalent of an entire mm -hmm. fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Now our, our annual pledge, um, that's our biggest fundraiser when right. we send out letters um, yeah, at people, the beginning of December. Yeah. And then um, the, the country store fair brings in between four and $5,000. So this is like a big earner. Yeah. It is a big yeah. earner. So, so since we're advertising for the car, <laughs> so what do you need? You know, if you were trying to, to do other stuff, stuff that you can't do right now, would you need more volunteers? Do you need more jewel? What do you? What, do, um, what if well, anything do you? We need? could always use jewelry. Always. I usually just take it home and sit, you know, watching television at night and mark yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so I always have a backlog. Anita and I just cleaned it out and resorted it so that we can get, you know, refill easily. Yeah. Um, yeah. If we could certainly use a volunteer or two if they wanted to. To help out with it, does, the, does that cart is it always open? Always, yes. Right? yes. It's so a, someone at the desk yeah. is always they'll come up and they'll say, "I'd like to buy this piece of jewelry. It's marked." Yeah, I get it. And I get it. And they and take they, the money, and then uh, I don't know. Every two weeks, I might check to see how much. Yeah, yesterday, I got one hundred and sixty dollars out of the bucket. Just you know, it's for the unbelievable. First couple of weeks of uh, May. So that's yeah, great. So yeah. and so you don't need a volunteer to staff it like during no, the day. No, we because don't. It, because it's all it's right. like self. -serve. It's all out there. And, and we trust that people aren't right. taking anything, and if right. they are, it isn't anything. And the, right. the and silver. You've already priced everything. We've already right? priced and everything. And no one's haggling. No. That's the number. No. Right. They never do. <laughs> it's it's yeah. really. Because you've, you've priced it right. Yeah, we, price, we try to price it yes. fairly. It's yeah. very reasonable, yeah. and um, we even have a woman that makes um, like the beaded dangle yep. jewelry. That, yeah. And so she's donated a lot of that. We had one woman. Oh, she, so that's actually that's just new stuff that she just donates. Yeah, she, she buys set. beads and she yeah. makes beautiful white, what she they call white earrings. Yeah, and they're, they're lovely. And so we always have lots and lots of those. And then th the other thing that happened this year, which we were just really amazed, um, a woman whose mother had passed away, and the mother was a jewelry maker, brought in these big cases of all the equipment the or the jewelry for the jewelry. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we sold things from that as well. Right. Oh, it's some of the stuff that was actually used yes. to make the right. jewelry. I was going to say, because yeah. you actually had it on display. Right. Because yeah. once again, I suppose, once people realize that it's there. Yeah. Now, do you ever get that? That's a, now, that's a very interesting point in terms of the stock that you get. Do you ever get stuff from an estate? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 This was my mother's or my grandmother's jewelry, right. and I was going through her stuff, and she would love it to come here. And, right. Because yeah. I would think if people were aware of that, yeah. Right. That would be because that happens all the time. Oh yeah. All yeah. the time, where yeah. you've got stuff. And, and, oh yeah. And people will, you know, come they to me and say, "Well, you know, where are we going to sell this?" Yeah. Yeah. Don't even think yeah. about. You know, you, it, you know, it isn't like tremendously valuable. Yeah. Just donate it to a local. Yeah. But pick if you out donate it someplace, mm -hmm. it's, then you're really recycling it and right. it's giving value to the right. senior center. Exactly. Recycling That's, is a great way yeah. of saying it. Yeah. And yeah. A lot of people buy things for gifts. Yeah. I noticed that at Christmas time. Hugely, especially, oh, we do have some sterling and we keep that on the counter near the front desk so yeah. people, you know, the, the staff can keep an eye on that. Yeah. And that's when we sell a lot of silver because you can buy a you know, nice silver gift for very, very little for money. Very little, yeah. yeah. very little. Do so. you end up increasing the stock like at the holidays? We try to, yeah. we try yes. to, but, but we have a lot of, well, we, we just saw how much jewelry yes, we, we have. Yes, we have a lot. Because we were sort of, you know, I, I organizing say, you it. Must also also have some in like storage. Is there a is there a back office? Oh here? yeah, yeah, a, yeah. That's yeah, what we, we have, were working um, on. <laughs> the, the, type of the discount that jewelry mart, mart right? Which is like, <laughs> yeah. like we're, we're kind of like everything. We else haven't is. done that, but we might. We probably will think about having some sales every now yeah. and then, just putting certain pieces in in a basket for a certain price. But we haven't done that yet. But. Yeah. Now, is this like n located next to the gift shop? Like when, at the you, when you walk in the front door, it's yeah. right to the left before you go into the bistro. Yeah. And then to the right is the, our is information the desk. and reception area. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's a good location for yeah. it, and people can walk right around it. And yeah. also, the Council on Aging Cheer, Adrian, yeah. um, has n 
yarns. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was going to say yarn yes. that she yes. sells too. So that also brings in money. And a that's lot of, kind of separate, yeah. but near the cart. It's right in front of the cart. So that money goes in with actually yes. that money goes in with the cart money. Yes, so, it does. Yeah. So, if you haven't been to the senior center, right? <laughs> and because you're like, oh, it's just these old people, and it's bingo, and it's all this. I'm, I'm not a right or classic. Yeah. I'm too young. I'm to too go young to the for that. Center. Yes. So first of all. Look at these people, right? So wouldn't, wouldn't you like to just kind of bump into them at the senior center? Uh, second, right, so here's your excuse to go, right? Right, right. You got, you got, you go shopping. You, you're going shopping, probably you're getting a great price, right. right? Right. And all the money is going right to a tremendous cost, right? right? So and you your, can have lunch. And you, yeah, and you right. can have lunch. Monday through Thursday, you could go shopping and you could have and lunch. And you can have lunch. And they say that the food is good. I still haven't been. Oh, right? oh but this it's is delicious. Your, this is your fabulous. time. And if you don't like the food, you can tell them. You call, don't call me. <laughs> That's right. You call them and tell them that you don't like the food. And, you and it's it. very reasonable. And, it, yeah. and it's the very reasonable. The cost of the food. Yeah. And, it, yeah. and it's very reasonable. You can kind of dress up for it. You can wear your yeah, jewelry, yeah. right? And you can that's kind of right. Like that's right. right. You have a great time. <laughs> this is terrific. It's this wonderful. is terrific. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, no, no, I have to ask. So, yeah. are you are you are you on on a permanent salary here, or are you, are you, <laughs> yeah. you have to retire? Please? You're, you're, you're staying. Well, you're, I, the thing is, I get first dibs on the jewelry. You so. get first yeah. dibs on the jewelry. That's so, if right. I see something right. I like, you that's know, right. that's yeah, right. I'll buy it. Yeah, the discount. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's great. So you're so you'll so you may see her right right at the at the shop right or or you may see my friend Anita mm -hmm. right? definitely mm -hmm. we're we're there a lot we're there a lot yeah thank you so much for doing this Anita as our usual. pleasure this is our this pleasure. is just terrific thank you very much for watching uh, and we'll see you next time on the next uh, installment of Frank and Mary in North Carolina.